Must be an antique. Uh, guys, what is going on? And welcome back. All right, let's try that again. What is up? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another 30 day fat loss transformation update video. My name is Jacob. We've just completed three weeks of this transformation. We have officially nine days left. So it could be four weeks, but I am going to extend it to 30 days. Um, this final week, you know, if I said I was going to push myself harder than I have done, I'd probably be lying. Because at the end of the day, as far as my nutrition goes, which is, you know, the major key when it comes to losing body fat, uh, my nutrition, I've pretty much done all through experience, all through knowledge that I've gained in the past. You know, I haven't really learned anything and I haven't really been tracking my diet, which I'm disappointed at because that is the data that I would probably most like to present to you, you know, to give you real life examples of exactly what I have been eating. Now I could rattle off a few meals here and there, you know, as far as what I've been having, but basically there's been a real mix. Um, I haven't really been focusing on macronutrients. So back in the day, you know, I would have, I would have made sure I had, I, I had my protein amount, you know what I mean? And the rest of my daily calories could be made up from, from anything. As long as I had that 200 grams of protein, which is equivalent of 800 calories, I was happy. I was good. Now, protein has taken a back seat in this transformation. And that is something that I've probably done for the best part of the last two years. I've really reduced my protein intake. And in doing so, it hasn't really, I guess, made me feel any any weaker. Um, it hasn't really made me, you know, lose a huge amount of muscle, even though I haven't been training. So one thing I do want to say is that this this notion of, of uh, a guy needing at least a gram, if not a gram and a half, of protein per pound of lean body mass is probably a little bit overestimated. So my protein amount, I can't tell you exactly what I've been eating, but I can tell you that I've been probably averaging about 100 grams of protein per day throughout this transformation. So that is an equivalent of 400 calories. I believe my average daily calorie intake would be around about 2,500. So I haven't gone as drastic as probably what I, what I could have, but it's been a consistent and steady weight loss. And I've just taken my progress pictures from week number three. And, you know, I, I can see some difference myself. I don't know if you guys will, will be able to, but when I do present the, the final pictures at the end of the four weeks, hopefully we'll be able to see a nice difference. And if there's not enough difference, guys, I'm just going to continue dieting. So that is a bit of an intro. We're already three minutes in and I really apologize, but I will hit you with the data that I've got. So there's three, three main variables that I'm tracking. Steps calories burnt and my sleep so my diet would have to be another one as far as well as training but we're not going to talk about those right here training is very minimal i've probably done two workouts during the week cardio i've probably done four or five different forms of cardio throughout the week um, whether that be a bike ride a run or a walk i haven't played any sport this week but that's okay so as far as numbers are concerned i wore my fitbit the entire week except for one day which was monday so what that's going to do, it's going to throw out the steps, it's going to throw out the calories, and it's going to throw out the sleep. But if we just remember that, my total steps for the whole entire week was 52,240. Now that's only six days worth, so that's probably an average of about 8,000 per day. 8,500, which is not bad. My highest day, as far as steps were concerned, was, was Tuesday. I did 13,813 steps. My lowest day, as far as steps are concerned, was Wednesday. And that was 2,796 steps. As far as calories go, now calories are obviously going to coincide with the amount of steps you did. The variable factor that determines how many calories you burn with this thing is your heart rate. The only thing that's going to raise your heart rate is doing cardio, doing steps. So they do correlate. And with that being said, my highest day as far as calories burnt was Friday. 3,848 calories. My worst day was Wednesday, 2,434 calories. Total calories burnt throughout the week was 20,871, which means, keeping in mind guys, I didn't wear it for one day, so that would be my base rate, which is just over 1,900 calories. So if we take that off, so if we take that off the total amount, we're at about 19,000 calories burnt throughout the week for six days. 
that's just over 3,000 calories per day. So if I'm taking in around 2,500, I'm burning just over 3,000. I should be losing, on average, about a pound a week of fat. And I think that's what we've been doing. The third variable that I like to track, and this is probably the most exciting for me, I check it every morning, is my sleep. That's probably the main reason why I got this. It wasn't to track steps, it was actually to track my sleep. And it's, it's pretty in-depth, I do enjoy it. I'm going to put up a screenshot of my, my week's worth of sleep. Uh, I didn't wear it for one day, but that doesn't affect the average. So my average, guys, my average hours slept per night is 6 hours 59 minutes. My average bedtime is between 12 and 2 a.m. And my average wake time is between 8 and 10 a.m. And that's pretty consistent. So the final thing we've got to show is my progress pictures. Probably, you know, the most important piece of data. They do say a picture tells a thousand words, and that's exactly what these progress pictures are doing. Um, you will have seen in a previous video, I put day one, day eight, and day 15 next to each other, and I made a, a little uh, transformation video, which I will be putting together at week number four, so you can expect that. But yeah, progress pictures are hugely important, guys, especially those first ones. You know what I mean? The first ones are so important. You take them, and you don't look at them again. I literally haven't even looked at my first ones, because I know that if I'm sticking to the plan, I'm only going to look better. I'm only going to look better. And so in that case, if you know deep down you are sticking to a plan, you don't need to weigh yourself every day. You don't need to take pictures every day. You know that all going well, of course, you should be losing weight. And that's, what, that's what's happening in my case. I hope. Let me know. Let me know how you think things are, are travelling so far. I think they're travelling pretty well. I hope you're travelling well. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day and peace out. Your style, put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'll run the world, I'll run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it Like me, wow Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding man, yeah, 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 yeah I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. The morning. Yeah, they been sleeping now. I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane. I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing. I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.